starting to really understand this offense, which is allowing me to play pretty fast. And um, that's when I'm at my best, when I'm able to utilize my speed and my size and just get out there and fly around. I wager you probably haven't been in many offenses with as many wide receiver weapons out there like Jamar, Tyler, and the rest of them. Uh, how does that change or get you more open, and how do you fit in at all? That? It just isolates me a lot. You know, There's not a lot of safety help to my side. There's a lot of man coverage, which, again, I use my releases, use my speed, get up on guys and kind of body them and break away. So it's, it's been really fun so far. Just how satisfying was that catch kind of over the middle when you stuck out your arm and what, kind of walking through what happened on that play? Yeah, so it was over out, uh, had outside leverage, man coverage. Um, Kind of had the guy lean in a little bit, and again, you know, I just use my release and use my quickness and suddenness, get inside, step vertical, and kind of just snapped off, and it was a hell of a throw by Brandon. Um, just kind of laid out there and made a catch. What do you like about the way this offense is using these tight ends? There's a lot of freedom. Um, you know, there's a lot of discussion between James and, and, and you know, and Pitch and, and, and Zach, just of how I see coverages and how, you know, I run routes based off of leverage and stuff like that. So there's a lot of ongoing communication, which I've never had before, uh, which allows me to be confident, you know, in what I do as an athlete. And I can go out there and use my releases and, you know, use my tools that I have and use that speed. With, with Burrow out for at least a couple of weeks, does that affect your connection with him on the field come the regular season? Not really. He's a professional. You know, I have no doubt when he gets out here, he's going to start slinging it and everything. Um, me and him got together in Destin before the season, about a week before I got here. So, you know, that time with him was even more crucial now that he's been out for a little while. So um, we were able to link up for a few days, and I think that was it's going to help us down the road. Any particular impressed you on camp so far? You know, you hear the stories about the receivers here. Um, and again, you know, I was in Baltimore, and you know, everyone the legend of Lamar and stuff like that. And then I was in Atlanta, and you hear about the Julios. But when you are on the field with it, and you put eyes on what Jamar does, and what T does, and what Tyler does, um, it's it's fun, you know. And then. To, for me to even be in the discussion with those guys and you know, adding to that offense is it's cool for me and like I said it just gives me confidence to do what I do and you know the more communication I have with Zach and James and all the guys um, just helps me helps me with that confidence so it's, it's been really fun so far chemistry is so important in the passing game between basically everybody as the new guy here mm -hmm. how do you feel have you been able to pick it up pretty quickly oh absolutely uh, like I said you know OTAs was you know they throw the whole playbook at you and my head was spinning a little bit um, but having time with Joe and having him kind of slow things down and you know go through signals and go through the playbook with me um, like I said those couple days in Destin with him were very important and then you know just being having the relationship with James you know he's whenever I want to meet with him he's always in his office willing to go over stuff um, and again you know just the relationship I have with Zach and all these other guys you know it's not really an abrasive thing if you if you bust or and things like that you know and how, just how I am, you know, I'm 28 years old and I'm going to go in there and I'm going to study. You know, I'm, I'm not a young kid anymore. I know what I need to do. So, um, like I said, it's just, it's cool having this opportunity in front of me. I know it's early in camp. How good can this offense be and what is your, going to be your role in it? I mean, it's already an elite offense. So that's like, for me, it's just incredible that I'm mentioned in the same breath as Jamar and these guys. Um, you know, for Zach to go out and get me in free agency, you know, personally and say that he studied my film and thinks that I'm a perfect piece of the puzzle. Um, it's just, it's awesome. Like I said, it just gives me more confidence to go out here and do my thing. I'm curious, whose who's idea was it to meet, or meet up in Destin specifically that location? Joe had mentioned it. Um, right before we broke for OTAs, I was going to go up to him and say, just, hey, where do you think we can get together? And he mentioned he was going to be in Destin, which is five hours from Jacksonville, and I said, I will meet you there. So, you know, whatever I can do to work and you know, get on the same page with him, I know it's a, it's a crucial year for me, too, being a contract year. I um, want to help this team get back to the Super Bowl, get over the hump. You know, that's what I'm here to do. Just help. What was it like doing with him? He's elite, man. He, he's he's a very he's a professional. He goes about his business. There's no BS with him. Um, he knows his stuff, and he expects you to know it too. So again, you just you have to step your stuff up. So you went to South Carolina. There's three people on the team in Clemson. Yeah. Do you guys talk about that rivalry at all? Yeah. I, this question comes up a lot. I don't have much of bragging rights. Um, yeah. When I was there, we got blown out three years in a row. So I, I kind of keep my mouth shut. I understand. They won the national championship. I think it was my sophomore year. They beat us like 56 to seven. Um, hopefully the, the guys in Columbia get it back, but I don't have very many bragging rights against them.